Hello, in this video we are gonna check Shutter, a free screenshot tool that can be installed on your Mac to help you take beautiful screenshot. This is a good replacement for CleanShot X. It's free and it has some interesting features that can help you create a nice screenshot and it has a beautiful editor with a lot of nice things that can be used to enhance your screenshot. So this is their website, the Shutter website, and in here you can download the tool and install it on your uh, on your laptop or your, on your Mac device. So after you install it, you will have in here an icon with uh, Shutter that it's opened, and in here you have the menu with the shortcuts that can help you take the screenshot. So for instance, you can do a capture screen, and this will capture the green screen. So you see in here it created a screenshot with what we we see on the screen and this is their editor. So in here you have the options to just copy this image if you want just to send it and don't want to save it. Here you can save it. Here you have the options to pin it to, to the screen. In here you have, can drag the image to where you want to, to save it if you want. And in here you have the options to crop it. This is a default thing that will open. So you see in here, for instance, if we want just to select this area, you just hit enter and you only crop it to, to this, this area. The other options that are here is to add arrows. So you see in here that you can add arrows and in this, um, this panel in here, you have the options to make them bigger, smaller, change the color, change the format if you want, things like, like that. You can see in here, it changes the, the format. We can change the color if we want. Other options, you can add, for instance, text. So you see in here that uh, you can add text in here. And you can uh, change the color and the, the shape of the text. Other things that you can, uh, you can do, you have a ruler in here that can be used to, to measure. You see in here you have you have, you need to hold the one or two key to start this. Okay, you can add rectangles if you want. You see in here you can add rectangles. You can change the shape if you want. You can do it like this, and you can change the color. Other thing you can add the um, steps like. Uh, counters. So for instance, if you have an image and you want to add, this is the first step that you need to do. This is the second step, third and things like that. You can do that, you can change the color, you can make them bigger if you want, like this. Here you have the other options to change the format of this. This option is to blur and erase things. So if you don't want to show something in your image, you just select this, let me select it. Let's say you don't want this text to, to show. You have the options to blur it, to erase it. If you want to completely delete it, or need to erase the text. So it has some interesting high features that can help you really edit an uh, image. You can open any image with this, um, with this editor and can just uh, go and edit the image in the way you, you like. So you see in here you have other options to add an oval. Like this, again, you can change the shapes and size in here, colors, things like that. You can add a line if you want, like this if you want. You can add three dots if you want, like this. So this is the editor. In here, you have the options, for instance, to change the color. So in here, for instance, if you have an image and you want to, to check to see on the, the color in the, in the image, like this, you will have the code display there. You see, it changes with the mouse. You have the image size, you have the zoom level, and in here you can uh, put the different formats for your uh, colors to be displayed, like this if you want, or in the hex. Okay, so this in this is the editor in in big. You in here you have also the different options to see the image size. Other things that this screenshot tool can help you do is to capture the screen, capture an area if you want. You have the scrolling capture if you want. So in case you want to make a bigger screenshot of a website or a 
something like that, you just select the scrolling capture, you go and select the area. So I will just do it like this. And then you, the tool will just, okay. So this is the image you see in here that it just created a screenshot with all of my, my page. You can edit the same as before. Another thing that this tool can help you do is to recognize text or QR. So you can, uh, if you have an image, you can uh, tell it to copy the text or the QR code. You have the repeat area capture. If you want, you can capture the active window like this. If you want. Okay. Other options, you have the delay screenshot. So that so will take a screenshot after three seconds. In case you, I don't want to do something there. Other things that you have, you have the uh, delay screenshot and the scrolling up. So the scrolling up, it will do the same thing, just moving up like the scrolling down. So let's take it like this. And it will go to the other page that you have. And at the end, it will create a screenshot with you see it has the screenshot with everything okay the tool has the preferences area where you can uh, go and for instance for general and uh, you can change the wallpaper you can put it transparent you have the screenshot folder where this will be saved format that you can go you have the to start at the beginning, affected area crop, how to show it and things like that. You have the hotkeys in here that you can configure and you have the advanced options in here that you can also change. So this is Shutter, a free screenshot tool for your Mac that can uh, replace your screenshot X and uh, help you some do some nice screenshots for free. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy what you've seen.